the sales numbers are out and we'll do the Big Island market update coming up next. Hey, what's going on friends? Dylan Onaka here from Caldwell Banker Island Properties and I'm gonna be doing the Big Island update. Sorry if the screen is kind of flashy, can't figure that out, but the show must go on, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. But interesting, um, we talked about last month how there was a pretty big drop off in number of units sold on, in the Kona side especially, and that trend somewhat continued down 20% in terms of total number of units sold versus a year ago. Uh, dollar volume is way down and we've seen this uh, we're, see, we're seeing this mainly because the high, really high-end properties are not selling, and that, and that fluctuates the, the total volume pretty dramatically. If you know a couple of five million dollar homes don't sell uh, in one month versus another month, that, that changes a lot, and so down huge amount, 61 percent. So a lot of those high, high-end homes are not selling, and that's also uh, contributing to the median price being down to 618,000, down 10 percent uh, from a year ago. Interesting thing here is average days on market fell to 52 days. So we've been seeing average days on market like around 70 days or so for the last few months. And that fell 40% to 52 days on market. So whatever did sell, sold quicker than it did a year ago. So pretty interesting there. And then final list of sold price is up 5%. So it was, it was at around 90 um, a year ago in terms of final sold uh, to list price. And so getting about 95% of what properties are listed at is what they're selling at, so pretty close to asking price. And then if we go over to condos, um, again, units are down 14%, not a huge drop off on the condo market. Volume's down a little bit, 11%. Median price actually continues to, to go up in the condo market, mostly because that the, ho the housing market has been strong and the prices have been going up, so people have been shifting over to condos. If you're looking for a two bedroom place for your family, you can still get a condo for around 300,000. And that's why we're seeing those prices continue to go up. Same thing with average days on market here, fell 27%. Uh, pretty interesting that condos are selling quicker, just like homes are, and then 97% sold to list value. So people are getting almost what they're asking for um, in the condo market. And then land is continue, uh, continues to be slow in the Kona market, only five units sold. Uh, volume changes dramatically based on a couple of big, couple million dollar lots that sell out in the resort areas. And then uh, median price, 675, that's up dramatically so there was a uh, uh, because there's only five sales that's going to be skewed um, a lot either way because there's so few sales and then average days on market continues to be high uh, it's up 13 percent but we're always seeing that about 200 days on market for land in the corner side and then 84 uh, percent list of sold price so land is always uh, it has been weaker than the housing and condo market the last couple of months this year and so no big dramatic changes there so Wanted to take a look at the entire Big Island market overall to see what the effects are um, across the board. The, the volcano has stopped, and so it's been really beautiful. There's been no VOG, but again, because of that, that 30 to 60 day lag in the, the real estate market, we saw that lag take effect last month when things slowed down. And then I think if they're gonna pick back up again, there's gonna be another lag because the volcano just stopped last month. So looking across the board, so this is, this is the, same, the same numbers just across the entire Big Island. If you look at current units, 191 units sold um, across the, the whole Big Island, that's down 11%, but not a huge change over a year ago. Dollar volume again down a little bit, mainly because of high dollar sales. Median price is about the same, only down 3% at 359,000 for the whole Big Island. And then average days on market is almost exactly what it was a year ago, 85 days on market for homes across the Big Island. And then final list of sold price is 94%. So pretty consistent with the Kona market in terms of uh, final list of sold price. And then condos are up, 70, uh, are up 31%. This was primarily due to a real big boom in the Waikoloa resort area of condos. There was a huge uh, increase, almost a double, in the amount of condos that were sold there. Most of the condos in the Big Island are sold either in Waikoloa or in the Kona districts. And there was a huge increase. Maybe people were buying condos in Waikoloa due to the VOG in, um, in the Kona side. Not too sure, but that's why there was a big increase there. And because of that increase, dollar volume went way up. Median price is up about 10%, so it steadily continues to rise. Uh, average days on market, 67. That was down 36%. So across the board, condos sold quicker than they did a year ago. And then final list of sold price actually went up. So again, 
96.5%, so almost 97%, pretty consistent with Kona across the board for condos. And then on land, land sales did drop 37%. This is, this is a lot due to the, the east side where the volcano is. There's a lot less sales on that side. That's where a lot of the land uh, transactions take place because there's lots of, of one acre pieces of land in the Pune district that turn over very quickly. There's usually a lot of sales there and that dropped off. Uh, volume was down again, almost uh, identical percentage wise to the number of units. And then median price 41,000 was up. So median price was actually up even though volume was down. And then average days on market fell 10%. So not a lot, 133 days on market on average across the big island. And then about 90%, 89.6% final list to sold price for land. So it's still a little bit weaker in terms of pricing versus condos and houses. But overall, no dramatic changes uh, on the, 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 the big picture on the big island. The Kono market continues to look a little bit slower than it has been in the earlier parts of the year. And we'll see if that picks up again now that the skies are beautiful and the volcano has stopped. But this is the big island market update for the August numbers. And we'll do, we do this every month. I'll see you guys next month in September. And thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys got any questions in the comments or you can always email me or call. Email is dylan at buybigisland.com. And there's comments on YouTube, there's comments on Facebook, comments on LinkedIn. If you got a question, just hit me up. So thanks again for watching everybody. Have a great day. Aloha.